Hi friends, this is the fourth video of our Angular tutorial. So from first video we got overview of Angular and from second video we got the installation process and how to install Angular project. And the last video we already introduced our files and folder structure. So let's create some things into this. Okay, so first I will try to print the hello world application. So when we will use the ng serve, your application will start so here you can see your application is starting so basically this page is coming from where so it is the page that is coming from src apps and app dot component html okay. from this html file basically you are getting this output okay so inside this we can see the tutorial project and here you can see some html files and have some dynamic contents also so if you go to this section you can see that is the welcome so basically this is the welcome section so not all are html so you can see the tutorial project this is coming from dynamic so if you search these things so write the so search colon and you can see the title so basically this is coming from dynamic so how it's coming so basically it is coming from app dot component dot ts file so here the title is tutorial project okay so first if you write something here so that is i am writing angular application so if you just go to this section so you can see the angular application is written over there so just remove all the html content and just check so all the blank so, so i'm writing some h1 tag so inside this i'm writing hello guys this is angular tutorial okay so make a as caps so here you can see hi guys this is angular tutorial and if you want to print this dynamic content you can write simply to curly braces and inside this you can write title okay so angular application so if you can decorate you can decorate so just write a p here and inside the paragraph we are getting the output so this is coming from title okay so this is basically property so you can see the property so if you write another property suppose i'm writing the property is channel okay so just write here a channel that is learning points okay and use this inside this app dot component dot html so inside the p tag i am writing this so inside the curly bracket we need to write okay so right here and here you can see the learning points so basically this is the property of this class so we can create a component we can bind a component so now we can get some idea how to code inside the angular application so next day i will show you how to create a component and how to use and render it into the angular application so don't forget to like and subscribe this channel and please comment if you have any queries about this video so thanks for watching this video have a good day